So there's a number of uh, options available. So we looked at surface water, like, like the Waiari, also groundwater. Uh, there's a number of, uh, say, alternatives, but the Waiari kept coming up as a, as a top score for the, uh, the volume of water. Um, you've got Egnambrite uh, rock and, and soil and spring-fed water supply, so there's always a good constant flow of water. And so the Waiari always seemed to score very highly, and here we are now, uh, seeing it all happen. So we began by uh, sort of doing two bits of work in tandem, so constructing the access track and then uh, doing the stream works and the diversion works. It took about two years to complete the work in the ground and, and once we had completed that it was only took about a year to complete the building. I've been on this project since 2016. There was a lot of work that happened before that, getting all the consents and all the land, but essentially been involved since the design was kicked off again. So the ultimate design capacity of the plant is 60 million litres of water a day. Uh, the initial uh, membranes that we've installed can treat up to 20 million litres of water a day, and then we can uh, increase the capacity over time relatively quickly. Yeah, the plant's a zero liquid discharge plant. What that means is that any drop of water that we take from the, from the intake from the Waiati stream is, is a really precious resource, so we don't want it to go to waste. So we recycle all the waste on site that's produced by the membrane and the pretreatment system, and it gets treated to a, to a level that's reintroduced into the uh, feed water of the main plant. Here we are, we're up on top of the pretreatment system. So the water's been pumped up from the valley down below, about 100 metres vertical lift and then it comes in and we dose it with two chemicals. So the two chemicals that we're dosing is, is caustic soda for, for pH correction, but also another one called PACL, which is our coagulant. Basically, we're trying to get all the dirt particles to stick together and settle out in this tank here. From here, it goes into our membrane system, and that's our primary barrier to bacteriological contamination, uh, where we're filtering down to 0.2 of a micron, and that's followed by chlorination, then off to town. The plant's set up at the moment to predominantly run during the day, um, it's got a much larger capacity than the demand from the, uh, from the city. So we are trying to run it during the day. It saves anybody getting called out at night, but the, the major advantage is all the solar panels that we've got across the site. Uh, it's 110 kilowatts of solar and it's capable of running this, um, this facility. Mm -hmm. 